So hello and welcome to the Expat Pod. My name is James, your host, and today we are doing the quick fire questions version of the podcast. If you haven't really listened to the full kind of length, uh, I'm joined with, with Trent, who is an American, who's lived in Spain and New Zealand, and you know, your journey was incredible. And please do you check out the full length video, it'll be somewhere around my head. Obviously, after we finish this 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 episode here first. So Trent, this is kind of a chance for my guests. To get a flavour of uh, my, my my listeners to get a flavour of the guests' experiences living abroad with some silly questions, which which are just a bit of fun, but hopefully really highlight the experiences you've had. So my first question to all my guests is always, "Where's your favourite place you've ever lived?" I'd have to say, I'd have to say Mission Bay, Auckland, New Zealand. And what specifically about that place made it so great for you? Uh, man, I was 600 meters from the beach, uh, 15 minutes from the city, uh, right on the waterfront. My buddy had a, had a Mexican cantina that we would go down to have a beer on the afternoons. You can look at the harbor and, you know, <laughs> Rangitoto is beautiful. And my next question is probably linked to that is what's your favorite international food? It could be Mexican. Probably, I would have to say Indian food. Uh, is it because of the spice that, that we, you, you enjoy or... Well, I'll tell you what, I was living in New Zealand the first time I went out with my English roommate and a couple of a couple of his friends, and they're like, we're going for a curry, and we're doing, you know, and I'm like, what? What are we doing? I mean, we didn't have that around where I lived. You know, the craziest thing we had was, like, Chinese takeaway, and um, we went out, and I'm like, the flavor, and this, it's just amazing, you know, with the rice, and then the, you know, the curry thing, and then... You know, you got your non bread with it, man. You throw a throw a lager in there, man. Unbelievable, Rob. Yeah, it's something that I had missed out on my entire life. So at least you found it, which is the main thing. It's very popular here in the UK for sure. Both Thai and Indian food. I thought you might have said Spanish, having I mean, spent a lot of time there with all the paella and I guess food is just amazing. Most most countries, it's quite hard to pick. What's your favorite international tradition? I'll tell you what's pretty dang cool was um, Las Bayas in Valencia, Spain. Once a year, they build these huge, like, paper mache things that are, you know, three or four stories high, man. And uh, right in the city, I mean, like, you know, meters away from, like, an apartment building, man. They're crazy, man. They let the, they light these things on fire and watch them burn up, you know? It's just, yeah, it's wild. It's it's awesome, man. You know, it's a big, it's a big party deal. And what's your favorite thing about living abroad? Finding the people that are internationally open-minded like me and you know getting to know them having a conversation my next question is what, what's your best homesickness remedy a bit of apple cider vinegar uh and water a warm water and uh you could put some ginger or lemon in there will reduce a fever but sorry for homesickness sorry for, for when you're oh, missing your, the- your home <laughs> life so <laughs> <laughs> but i mean that's a great memory too i was like great a doctor's <laughs> advice but so i mean like you're missing your parents you're missing i don't know america's got talent or you're missing uh, a philly cheesesteak i or see something. what you mean <laughs> now i did think that was kind of like oh okay well that's a that's a unique question yeah Dang. You know what, man? You know what? Just get, just getting on Zoom. Getting on Zoom, getting on a video and, and you know, talking to my family or friends. That 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 helps to cure it, really. For sure, yeah. I think... Uh, did you ever have access to American food whilst you were there as well? Like Pop-Tarts or like things you missed in that sense? Oh, yeah. You know, definitely, man. They they had... <laughs> there, there was, a, there was a, a an American lady that actually had a store in Auckland called the American Store Man, and she just imported all sorts of American brand stuff. So, you know, we'd go every once in a while, man, you know, and pick something up, and, you know, my friends would, and we would have kind of like an American day where, you know, people have Doritos and, you know, Rotel dip and, you know, ranch beans or, you know, whatever, you know, whatever. It's, you know, some of those comforts from home, yeah. What's the hardest thing about living abroad? Golly, man, you know, in in Spain, the hardest thing was, you know, the language barrier. Um, yeah, really in the beginning, it was really hard. You know, I didn't know a lick of Spanish when I got there. I just thought, and then, you know, the whole thing happened to me with, you know, with my bag getting stolen. It was lonely. It was very lonely not being able to actually talk with people. But, you know, that that's kind of what I learned. That You know, that's one of the things that we talked about earlier that I learned is, you know, you communicate with people without talking a lot right you know that's 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 one of the things that you really that really kind of you know perfected and realized you know that you can be friends with somebody and you don't have to talk to them a lot yeah 
Yeah, completely. It's shared experiences mainly as well, which can help. Well, what's the best phrase you've learned whilst living abroad? Uh, you might have learned quite a lot from from New Zealand or from Spain, for that matter. But wow, well, I mean, I mean, they say a lot. They say um, a lot. They say like sort it out, stick it up your jumper. You know, yeah. I mean, the Kiwis they go on and on, man. Uh, you know, the cheers thing. You know, they say cheers for uh, goodbye a lot, which is very different. You know, I find myself when I get off the phone, uh, you know, I get off the phone or I'm with somebody, I say, yeah, I'll cheers. And they're like, we're, we're not toasting. Yeah, we, we use it in the, in the UK too. And we say sort it out. We say cheers when you say goodbye. Yeah, cheers, thanks, bro. It's quite a common thing. You say all three usually. So. What, what's your best way of making new friends? You, you know what? I mean, you know, I don't I don't mind just showing up, showing up to like the pub by myself, you know? I just show up by myself, you know, and uh, just strike up a conversation, you know. I mean, it was a good way that I did it in the gym was, you know, like I did some group classes, you know, some group things. And, you know, when you're doing that in a group with people, you kind of get to know them. And, you know, I used to take boxing training. And so we, you know, train together. And, you know, when you train with somebody, you have a partner, you kind of get to know them. And then you may become friends with them and you, you know, may go grab a bite to eat or you know, it, it it's kind of kind of happens like that. Completely, yeah. It's, it's a good. I I used volleyball for me, so it was a good chance for me to join a team and and go spend three hours in a in a in a, in a minibus with people. You kind of talk because you have to. So yeah, it's the kind of thing. And what's the what was the best thing to do in your kind of new city? So when you lived in Auckland, what was the best thing to do in Auckland when you were there? Apart from going to your buddy's shack. Man, you know what? Uh, get in the car, get out of town, rent, rent a batch, which is like, you know, like a like a holiday camp home or something, and go to the beach. Man. I mean, just, you know, get, get 15 or 20 minutes out of Auckland. It's just different. That's, that's, that's what I would love to do, you know? It's so different. The city and then, you know, getting into the countryside and then, you know, to the beach. I mean, it's just, you know, it's an island, man. So, you know, water all around us. It's just... uh that's that's what I like to do, you know, get in the car with a couple of friends and I'll go do that for the weekend. Unbelievable. So much fun. Yeah. What's your best expat life hack? Well, I'll just go back to maybe something. Put your wallet in your front pocket. <laughs> I don't know if that's a hack. That's maybe more of some advice, but uh, that will save you a lot of heartache because most guys have their wallet in their back pocket. I mean, I you know, Europe, I don't. Everything's in my front pocket. A very practical advice there, which is always welcome for sure. Thank you, Trent. I really, really appreciate your time and appreciate that we've been talking for nearly two hours now. So thank you for, for sharing part of your afternoon in the US. It's late Early night. Early afternoon, months. man. I, I appreciate you having me on and coordinating everything with me. It's been a blast. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, wonderful. And, and as always, if you haven't joined the podcast, please just let us know in the comments. Please do share with your friends. Please do go check out the full episode with Trent. If you haven't already, it should be appearing on your screen towards the end of this video if you watch on youtube um as always thank you for the space with, with trent and i as, as as we learn more about his life and and his experiences and yeah as always i do hope you you kind of get back on your feet soon you know literally in that sense and good uh good luck with that and i'm sure i'll um keep in touch anyway as the podcast goes out and yeah please do let me know how you're getting on and uh, i hope it was well for you and as always we'll see you next time for the pod cheers Bye.